How do you balance it all? I mean, we've talked about the challenges and the advantages of filming, being sure. a filmmaker in Iowa. You, you are a family man. Yes, I am. Uh, you have the, your own business, you're freelancing as well. Yeah. How do you keep the wheels churning? Yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely a challenge. Um, I think, um, you know, part of the thing for me, I think that's always been present is, um, I think I've always made um, creativity um, the lead driving force in in these situations, um, and and it hasn't been about necessarily making a million dollars. Um, and I think I would have had a totally different path if if all I wanted to do in life was was make money and um, you know have a big house. And um, I still have a big house, but because I have three boys living in it, three sons, and uh, so we need the space. Sure. <laughs> but, um, but you know, it's not about that. that. I guess what I'm getting at, for, for me, it's always been a passion. And so how I balance it is, is I get to do what I love um, to do, and that's be creative. Um, and sometimes there are, are moments when you're doing invoicing or paperwork on the business side of things that are not that creative, but I really try to, um, to set aside enough time to uh, to to keep the bill paying and the creative part, the things that I love to do, at an even at an even balance. So it's, it's like what you just said. It, how do I balance it? Is trying to keep those things uh, even versus letting one uh, out out focus the other. And um, uh, oftentimes, honestly, creatively, I get a little bit uh, stagnant because I'm always creating for somebody else um, most of the time when I'm trying to pay the bills. So when I shoot a commercial, I'm trying to sell a product for somebody. Um, not necessarily for me, um, but I'm selling it for somebody else. And so uh, about three times a year we do what we call passion projects, uh, just things that um, we have a little thing on our site called I Am Luminary Projects, which basically means projects that we uh, either do because they help our community or our culture or our world around us, or they're just merely creative. Call from Highland Park, 1016, officer requested 2014 first week. Why are you still here? I have told you everything I can. She's out there, she's got a gun. They're going to park now. Don't see anyone who fits the description. I'll stand by. Give me the money. You haven't seen this girl around here at all? No. Veronica Strait, 16 year old girl from Moscaloosa, Iowa, accused of shooting her father in the leg. I think anybody who is in the arts or in the creative world, whether you're a musician, a painter, a, a graphic artist, there are there are moments in your life in which you you ask the question, you know, um, do I love what I do, and keep going down an avenue uh, for creativity's sake, or do I just pay my bills? And um, I think we always lean this way, and we're not so focused about we we pay our bills. I mean, but it's not our driving force. Um, and I don't know if that's a great answer, what I just said, all that stuff, if that's really a balance. But in the end, if I, if I can go to bed at night saying, hey, I loved what I did today, but it didn't make me a million dollars, I'm happy.